The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Bills that in some form or other require a presidential candidate to present proof of citizenship in a state to get on the ballot in that state. And in Montana, State Representative Bob Wagner, who you're going to hear from in just a moment, is pushing a bill that would require the candidate to produce a copy of a birth certificate. He says it's not about President Obama, but he also says he doesn't know if President Obama is a citizen or not. The last time CNN polled Americans, 27% said the president either definitely or probably was not born in the country. Among Republicans, that number rises to 41%. And other recent polling puts the numbers even higher. Now, I just want to show you some facts, however. Here's the president's official certificate of live birth from the state of Hawaii. This is the official document from the state of Hawaii. It's what they send you when you ask for a birth certificate. It's valid at the passport office as a form of identification. It's got the signature stamp and raised seal. Hawaii's Republican governor, when the controversy erupted, Linda Lingle, said, quote, it's been established he was born here. She says she had her health director actually go and view the original uh, uh, electronic copy of the birth certificate in their records. And here's the birth announcement ran in both Honolulu newspapers. Uh, there you see it. Today on another network, a reporter for one of them saying the papers back then would get their birth information directly from the state health department. So those are the facts. Now, in a moment, senior legal analyst Jeffrey Tubman is going to talk about the constitutional facts the supporters of birther legislation appear to be getting wrong, in his opinion. But first, my conversation with Montana state lawmaker Bob Wagner. Representative Wagner, do you believe that President Obama is a citizen in the United States? Well, I don't really, I'm not really qualified to say whether I believe he is or not. Uh, it, it, it's irrelevant to me. Uh, uh, what do you mean this, you're not qualified to say whether he is or not? Well, there's been no proof offered, and, and as far as uh, belief, it really doesn't matter what I believe. But, but how can you say there's been no proof offered? There's a certificate of live birth, which was shown by his campaign in 2008, uh, which has, you know, the, the seal of the raised seal of the state uh, is signed off on. Um, you know, there, there's plenty of evidence that, that he is. How can you say that there's not? Well, a certificate of live birth is different than a long form birth certificate. And uh, I think that that's what is intended uh, by the documentation process. But, as, but uh, a certificate of live birth is good enough for the U.S. passport office to get a passport. I mean, it's what citizens well, it's of Hawaii enough, can use to, to identify themselves. If, if, if it's uh, good enough for the U.S. passport office, that's one thing, but I'm more concerned about good enough for the state of Montana. But, but I mean, have you, no one's ever asked any other presidential candidate in Montana to, to do this. Um, I mean, where was George, George Bush born? That's exactly the problem here. Uh, you know, we shouldn't be discussing this uh, after the fact. This is uh, a process that we will uh, look to mandate in the state of Montana and, and what the rest of the states do and what the federal government does in regards to it is uh, their business. But here in the state of Montana, we're required to keep our election process pure, and, and that's what we will seek to do with this bill. Are you saying that it's not pure at this point? Well, it's, it's, certainly, under, uh, it, it's certainly under scrutiny. What does that mean? Uh, it, it, it's certainly under scrutiny. Any, anytime, anytime you go 200 and some odd years uh, and you uh, think that there's a process in place at the federal level uh, to determine uh, the accuracy of, uh, of any uh, commander in chiefs or, or president running for the purpose of office, uh, and then they say no, that it's not, it's the, up to the 50 states, well, I guess it's back in our court and we'll take care of it. But, but again, you know, all candidates release information, and, and this candidate, as a candidate, uh, the, the campaign of Barack Obama released the certificate of live birth, which is a valid form of identification. Well, that's your opinion, sir. Uh, and, uh, well, it's not my opinion. It's the federal government's opinion. It's the passport's office opinion. It's, it's the, you know, it's, it's, it, it is a valid form of identification. Sir, uh, I won't argue with you, but we'll set our criteria here in Montana according to how we understand uh, the validation to be. You, you were saying that based on, on the definition of what you believe a natural born citizen is, are, are you saying a natural born that President Obama is not a natural born citizen? A natural born citizen according to uh, the law of nations and uh, uh, the law of nations and the study of natural law uh, in accordance with uh, a book written by Vattel, which we believe to be the standard for uh, natural born citizenship requires that you have two parents of, um, of uh, citizenship born in the United States to be the son or the daughter of a, a 
to parents born of, of uh, citizenship in the United States. Well, that's not what's in the, the 14th Amendment. Well, uh, sir, um, maybe you could uh, do better at it. I, I don't know what that means. Well, uh, I don't know what, you're, what you mean. Well, uh, under U.S. law, anyone born in the United States, uh, regardless uh, of what their parents are, is, is considered a natural-born citizen. I don't believe that to be so. But you, you do acknowledge that your interpretation of what a natural-born citizen is who's qualified to run for president is different than what has been accepted now for quite some time. Well, if you wish to accept it, uh, that's uh, clearly uh, up to others. Uh, you know, in, in, in the state of Montana, we wish to uh, do what we think is right, so uh, in accordance with the Constitution. Uh, well, I uh, appreciate you coming on and, and explaining yourself, um, Representative Bob Wagner. Thank you very much, sir. Sure. Well, you heard Representative Wagner allude to the 14th Amendment and the standard it sets for who's considered a a naturalized born American citizen. Until recently, that wasn't in question, nor was a candidate citizenship, but both are apparently now topics of the state. In both cases, and simple facts can kind of get lost. That's why after I talked talk to Mr. Wagner, I sat down with senior legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin. It's kind of amazing this debate continues despite the evidence that's out there. Well, you know, this all reminds me of the great Senator Moynihan quote, you know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but they're not entitled to their own facts. Barack Obama was born in Hawaii, in the United States. This is not up for debate, but this issue persists and it keeps coming up. And can a state ways. say, well, we have our own requirements for who should be president and we get to make laws based on that? Is that constitutional? Well, states can say you need 500 signatures to get on the ballot. You need to, they can make all sorts of ballot access rules, and they all do, but they cannot impose requirements that are different from the United States Constitution. So. What Montana thinks about who was born in the United States is not going to be binding on the Electoral College uh, when it meets. So I, I think in addition to being so a ridiculous law, idea, it's also unconstitutional. And there's other laws in other states that are trying uh, the, along the same kind of birther uh, ideas, birther legislation. Are they also, you think, unconstitutional? Totally. You have I mean, no doubt that the court would rule that. I, I, I don't think. I mean, imagine the scenario. Um, Barack Obama gets more votes than whoever the nominee, Republican nominee is in, in Montana, and somehow they're not going to let him on the ballot? They're not going to let him on the ballot? It just doesn't seem possible. He also talked about a definition of a natural-born citizen, and he talked about uh, sort of, I can't remember the exact... Vittel. For, well, Vittel, yes, yes, the philosopher Vittel, and, and sort of common, common understandings. That's not what a natural-born citizen is. I mean, no. no matter what Vittel said, that's not what America considers a natural-born citizen, right. correct? Right. Vittel has, has, is, is in vogue on the birther websites, but the, the words of the Constitution have been interpreted many times by the Supreme Court, and what it means is born in the United States. What Vittel said was natural-born citizens means you were born in the United States and your parents are also born in the United States, and obviously Obama's father was not born in the United States. The only problem with that is six other presidents had parents who were not born in the United States, including Herbert Hoover and Woodrow Wilson. So the idea that there is some new requirement that your parents have to be born in the United States is as ridiculous as all their other arguments. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.